Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I have a resume? Okay. Tell me about yourself. Firstly, thank you for giving me this opportunity. My name is Vishal Krishna Uttarandi. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Currently staying in Hyderabad. Uh, I am completed my graduation 2022 in the BAC Engineering College of Coral Revo with a CGPA of 7.3 uh, in the stream of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. I also completed my diploma at BAC College uh, with a percentage of 74.5% in the stream of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. I also completed my SSC in JPI High School, Pandar Lanka. Coming to my skills and uh, skills and knowledge, I completed a certification on magnetic software uh, in the stream of uh, manual and automation testing. Coming to my hobbies, I like playing playing here and uh, virtual games. Uh, coming to my family background, my father name is Ramanga Soro, he is a watch mechanical, and my mother name is Lilavati, he is a filmmaker. I have a brother, he is also working as a software software engineer. That's about it. Okay, Krishna, what is manual testing? Manual testing is nothing but checking the software whether it uh, reaches the requirements of the user or not by using the human efforts. Okay. What is the QA activities in manual testing? Um, coming to the QA activities of in the manual testing, uh, QA activities are first starting with the requirement analysis stage. Uh, QA is responsible for uh, analyzing the requirements of requirements of the software and he is uh, he is also identifying the identifying the requirements or test scenarios and writing the test scenario, test cases based on the test scenarios and <coughs> set up on setting up the test environment and executing the test cases and documenting the uh, test cases about the about the test cases are failed or passed and uh, locking the defects and tracking the defects and and uh, <coughs> uh, uh, attending the daily stand up meetings and giving the permission whether the software is released to production or not. Okay, very good. What is the principles of manual testing? Uh, coming to the principles of manual testing, there are seven principles for manual testing. Right? Uh, testing should be start from the requirement analysis stage. And uh, we will do the testing to find the defects or bugs. And third point is, we, uh, we can't uh, we can't do the software without any defects to the user or customer and uh, testing should be context based means uh, we need to we need to uh, we need to get the what type of testing we do the we do for the application next testing we should follow the concept of the pesticide, pesticide paradox means we need to update the test cases based on the um, in every cycle next uh, next one is we should follow the defect cluster. It means uh, 20, uh, eighty percent of the bugs will uh, we will get in the twenty percent of the modules. So we need to uh, it will uh, get this information by experience. These are the <coughs> principles of the manual testing. Very good. What is the retesting and regression testing? Uh, retesting means we will do uh, we will check we will check in the software after the modification or whether the bug is fixed correctly or not. Regression testing com um, comes after the retesting, re whether the uh, fixed, uh, fixed bugs will affect the remaining functionalities or not. Okay, what is smoke and sandy testing? Smoke testing means uh, it is also known as a pit test. We will uh, we'll check the main functionalities of the application uh, to go to the next type of testing or not. It is also known as a bug verification test. Okay. Krishna, uh, you know about any selenium? Yes, I have some idea about selenium. Okay, what is Selenium? Selenium is a free and open source uh, automation tool uh, which, will, which will automate the web application, web based application, but it cannot automate the standalone and user user defined applications. It has a four components Selenium IDE means Selenium Integrated Development Environment. Uh, it is an extension for the web browser, and Selenium Mars is a uh, Selenium Remote Control. It is a uh, it is works as a server between the web, uh, web browser and the test scripts. Uh, next one is Selenium uh, web driver. It is an uh, it is a US tool which will uh, directly interact uh, test will interact directly to the web browser. And next one is web, uh, Selenium grid. It is used for it is used for the parallel execution of the tests in different machines or different uh, browsers. Okay. What is expert? Xpath is one of the locator which will cover uh, in the Selenium, which will cover all possible ways to find an element. Yeah. It has two types: uh, absolute Xpath and relative Xpath. Absolute Xpath will start from the single slash, 
and absolute expert will um, goes in, goes from the parent to one child, and it, it has a longer syntax. Coming to the relative expert, relative expert starts with double syntax, uh, double slashes. Uh, next one is relative expert uh, goes from parent to any child. It has a shorter syntax compared to the absolute expert. Okay, very good. You have any script knowledge in Selenium? Yes, sir. Okay, how to handle uh, drop down or list box? By, uh, by using the select class, we will handle the drop downs or list boxes. First, we need to create an object to the uh, select class. We have three methods uh, for handling the list, box, uh, list boxes or <laughs> drop boxes. They are select by visible text, select by value, and select by index. Okay. Mm. What are the locators in Selenium? There are eight types of locators in Selenium. ID, tag name, name, class name, CSS selector, expert, visible text or uh, link test, partial link test. What is the web driver methods in Selenium? There are the three methods for the web drivers. Get, navigate, get window handle, get window handles, find, uh, find element, find elements, get title, get current URL, get close, close and fit. What is the difference between robot and uh, keys class? Uh, com, uh, the uh, keys class and robot classes are used to handle the virtual keys. Virtual key, keys means keys in the keyboard. Uh, like uh, difference between keys class and uh, which, uh, robot class. Keys class can present in the <coughs> Selenium packages, but robot class can, cannot uh, present in the Selenium packages. It present in the Java dot uh, dot package. We need to write the keys class inside the sentences, but we, uh, but we, can't, uh, we don't need to write the robot class inside the sentences. But we need to create an object to the robot class. Uh, keys class cannot uh, keys class cannot operate with, operate the special characters, but by using the robot class, we can uh, we can handle the alphabets. Keys class doesn't have access to the uh, cannot uh, doesn't have access to the desktop windows. But robot class have access to the desktop windows. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, Krishna, your interview is done. So I call you later. Thank you. Pause. Pause. Language.